what is a byte code why it is needed byte code is nothing but a machine language uh, or ultimately that is a exe for a java virtual machine or a, a dot o file for a java virtual machine okay there are two things like in uh, translating a high level language into a low language you can either compile or interpret okay when you compile what you do is you compile the code into a machine language which is an exe or a particular machine dependent and it gives the best in speed so there is another way to do it which is called interpretation when you interpret something for example uh, there is a there was a language called basic and uh, visual basic which is interpreted language and currently python is a most commonly used interpreted language none of the other languages are interpreted so what is the advantage of interpretation is it gives portability okay in java they promised to have both they wanted to have a uh, interpretation as well as portability so they used two phases first phase is like a Con- compile the code into a byte code and then interpret or compile in the second phase in the jvm okay so this is what i was saying like in java if you have a source code you compile it and you will finally get a object code which is exe or a dot o file and you run in the platform this is very dependent to the platform so you can't uh, run an object code which is generated here uh, taken to another thing for example if i have a windows exe i can't run it in a unix box or a linux box or a max box okay the same way i can't run a dot so file or a o file in the other places okay uh, whereas in java what they do is like you compile it and you convert it into byte code the, you can use the byte code in any jvm it is compatible with jvm and the jvm converts uh, takes care of the conversion of the uh, byte code into object code okay this is the purpose you introduce a layer here and this layer solves the problem for you okay converts the byte code and this this is platform dependent and this guy is platform independent okay so this is how <coughs> the flow happens so there is a java file and you have a compiler okay and the compiler compiles uh, that to a uh, uh, class file and the class file is given into the jvm and jvm is run against all the different machines